Hey there guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to add music to your videos using Artlist. Step number one is to go to artlist.io. Consider using my link in the description to get free two months on your sign up. Step number two is going to be to find some music that we're going to be using for your video, right? So click on the music tab over here on the left hand side. There's a bunch of tabs over here. And again, Artlist has tons of cool features and I'm going to talk about that at the end. But for now, we're going to add some music to your video, right? Right? So now that we're in the music section, next what you want to do is you want to find the song that you're going to want to add to your video, right? And again, you can search Artlist by the instrumentals, you can choose by the genre, the mood, the video theme. Let's go with the video theme. I feel like that works the best, so let's go with a trailer. And guys, Artlist has so much music. If you're on the fence about it, just trust me, give it a try. The link will be in the description. All right, so let's give these a test. So go ahead and start playing some of these songs right and I'm just gonna go through these click the play button over here on the left to have a listen that sounds pretty cool right I'm looking kind of for like a theatrical song this is all cinematic and again you can change the video theme here at the top let's go with a documentary feel I feel like sometimes those have really good songs I'm gonna go with this one right here I picked this one so this is the song as you can see here there's a play button over here on the left this is the album art the title of the song the type of genre and again you can see over here on like the music timeline this little section where it's kind of like it's highlighted and it looks different, that's the most popular section of the song that people are actually using in their video or the most popular section of that song that they're that they're using, right? And again, once you're ready and have the song picked out, all we have to do is click on this down arrow. If you hover over it, it says download. So just click on that and download your uh, file. And again, it lets you choose a WAV file or MP3. A dot wave file is a little higher quality, but I mean, it's it's super close. I'm just gonna go with MP3. And again, it will ask you to protect your videos from copyright claims, so just put your YouTube channel name here and your socials and you can add other channels or you can do it later. And again, up here in the right-hand screen here in my download section, I can see this is the song, right? And again, I'm in Google Chrome. I You can visit your download section in your documents. If I click down here on the documents right here, you can see it. All right, so the next step is going to be to get into your video editing program on your PC or your phone. Again, I highly advise everyone to use CapCut. It's 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 so easy, it's cheap, it's only like $9.99 a month, and it's the best editing program for beginners. I can almost promise you that. Um, again, I'll throw a link to CapCut down below. But all we have to do here is we're gonna import our video. We'll use this one right here. It's a 35 second B-roll clip of just stock footage. And again, if you're looking to do mobile editing on like your phone, uh, all I would do is go to Google Drive and upload it onto Google Drive and then go onto G Drive on your phone and download it to your phone and then bring it into the editor. Okay, but the next step here in CapCut, again, the CapCut is the easiest guys to learn. I teach people how to edit videos in like literally 10 minutes, it's so easy. Uh, now just click on the import button and we're going to bring in our song here. I'm going to go to the download section and this is our song right here. Uh, drag it down to the editing timeline here and this looks like this song has a ramp up. So I'm going to edit the ramp up a little bit here. Again, we can edit the audio of the actual song by highlighting it and then go up here in the volume section and just turning it down a little bit because chances are it's a little too, you know, it could be a little too high. So let's have a, let's have a listen to this. Again, this is cinematic theatrical uh, music but it still it works right uh it it plays pretty well and again maybe you're looking for background music in your videos or just like a, a trailer maybe it's like the core audio it doesn't matter this is how you edit it in a video editor in CapCut. so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna split the end because as you can see here the song goes longer than the video right so i'm going to split the end and then hit the backspace and delete it and now this song is essentially uh, on the entire video. And again, that's if you want it like that, if you want it in sections, all you have to do is highlight the song and then put splits in there, or you can just drop and drag it. See, like right now, the song plays right here, but then stops and then starts again right there. And maybe what I would do is add um, fade-ins. Again, if you highlight the clip and then go up here in the right-hand corner and then zoom in on this fade in section you can see it creates a fade in down there see that and again i can also fade out because chances are you want to fade out as the video kind of like ends or maybe the transition is ending but guys adding music to your videos using artless is extremely easy you just go into the website download it find your song download it and then bring it into your video editor and then I'll just edit the music how you want it in your video and i know i kind of like blew past this like a lot of it's super easy 
But once you get going with a little bit of this, it, it's so, so easy. Again, guys, with your Artlist subscription, you will get two free months if you sign up using the link down below if you're still on the fence. And again, if you're looking for a video editor that's extremely easy to use, CapCut Pro is so easy. It's only $9.99 a month. It's one of the cheapest, easiest video editors on the planet, and I promise you that. I'm a full-time YouTuber, and I still use CapCut. Even though it's like beginner-friendly, I still use it as my main go-to. Again, there'll be a link for that in the description as well. And then once we wanna save the file here, our video, we can export it up here in the right-hand corner where it says export, and I can choose the settings if I want it in 4K, if I want it in 1080, if I want it in vertical format, MP4, and just click on export, and that's where you're going to save the video. So this is how to add songs or music to your videos using Artlist. Hit me up in the comments, and again, all the links will be in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.